Hello guys, come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace. I am participating in the Crafty Bunch by Rustic Daisies event for Small Business Saturday. That's a mouthful. I hope you guys will pop in, <coughs> excuse me, and see what we all have for you today. We just have 30 minute quick segments, so you don't even have to devote much time, but it will be really fun to see what everybody has for you today. And I'm happy to be here. Hi, Terry. First one on. Glad you're here. I believe I want to be sure I can see all the comments. So let me let me get to my page where I can see everybody. But this is being streamed into the Crafty Bunch by Rustic Davy Daisies Group. Be sure you're a part of that. Hello, Mary. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Brookie. Are you feeling good today? Let us know how you're feeling. I know so many people are sick right now, and I apologize. I hate that for you guys, especially at the holidays. But I do hope that, you know, you'll take some time to kind of just rewind, re rest, and get, get well. There's lots of things going around. Hello, guys. Hi, Mary Tao and Debbie. Hi, Debbie Dooley and Debbie Fritz. Glad y'all are here. Thank you, Terry. I did. I hope you did, too. Thank you for sprinkling. So what I do here at Art and Grace, if you are new to me, again, my name is Deb. I live here in South Fort Worth and I do whims what I call whimsical acrylic paintings. So lots of bright colors. I don't know if I have very much around me, um, but you can see this is the most recent thing I did. Just some easy, the things that I teach are very easy. You can follow along kind of step by step. Here's a little ornament, uh, but that's what I like to do. I like to take a painting that I want to do and uh, I'll paint it and then I will repaint it a couple of times until I can make it so easy. Like I kind of explain, like do a round, you know, shape or make this look like a football shape. You know, I kind of break it down into shapes and explain things like that. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate you having me here today. Oh, good, Linda. I'm so glad you love it. Thank you, Janice. I hope you did, too. Hi, Kim. Hi, Marie. Um, and then I do a lot of glass art, so that is really something important to me. But um, I tend to do most of that in my private group, and you can see some of the trees behind me. And I do have a um, an event coming up with this little nativity painting so baby jesus in the little manger and it's got glass and resin if you've never done glass and resin this is the class for you because i promise even as a brand new beginner with zero experience you will be able to do this and then go on to do any other design you want to do so it will be extremely comprehensive um you won't have i i really don't think that we're not, I think we're going to cover everything in this class. So um, you can get to this if you want to register. Should be a link below. I don't see it, but I hope you guys see a little link. And it'll take you to my website where you'll be able to sign up, register. It's a $15 class. Now, if you are in the VIP group, let me just explain this too. If you're in the VIP group, all of my classes are free for you. So you don't need to register, don't need to pay, anything like that. Hi, Christy. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Veronica. Thank you, sweet lady. I appreciate it. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Sydney. Glad y'all are here. Um, so anyway, as a VIP, there's so many perks. And let me just say, I, I didn't even think about this until this morning I was getting ready and thinking about what I needed to to tell you guys about my business because we just have 30 minutes. Hi, Leanne. Um, I try to spoil the VIPs. I really do. And it is a $20 a month payment and you can stop at any time. You know, it's, it's month to month if you want it to be, or if you know you like my style and you like the things I teach, then you can do a year, which saves you two months free. But um, so let's say for the ladies who pay that $20 to join the group, then this class is free and it's a $15 class. So rather, you know, I think it's almost a, a good deal right now. So join the group for 20 if you're wanting to take this class, because then you get everything else in the group for $5. Does that make sense? And then if you don't love it, 
just cancel. So that's kind of a little pro tip I just thought of today, like, wow, it's really a, a much smarter thing if you're wanting to take the class to join the group, get the class free, and then everything else, you can see everything in the group and do what you want to out of it during that month. So wanted to be sure and tell you guys that. Oh, uh, hello, ladies. I'm glad y'all are here. Um, let's go ahead, though, and just paint something. Let me just show you how easy acrylic painting can be because it's kind of my favorite thing to, to do is show people that it doesn't have to be hard. Hi, Michelle. Um, you can do super easy little whimsical things. Let's do maybe a gold base. Let's see what she said. Ornament. Oh, good. Thank you, Christy. I'm glad you like it. Yes. Um, I, I definitely overpack. I know, uh, I kind of chuckle sometimes, but I really, I've never once had anything arrive broken, so it works. So it's better to use a little more packing material and keep it safe. This is a ceramic ornament I picked up at Michael's. So if you are lucky enough to have a Michael's near you, uh, check and see if you guys have these on sale because they are good quality. Uh, some ceramics you'll you'll use and you, and they're not good quality but this one actually is i was really bummed out that they didn't have many and so i think it's just something maybe special that they're carrying for christmas and they don't carry excuse me uh ceramics year round or maybe they're going to start carrying more but regardless i picked up several ceramic items to try and have really been pleased so all you have to do is come in here with some acrylic paint and start painting you can put on a pre-sealer if you want to, but I don't for just my, just my regular everyday ornaments, I don't because it doesn't require it. I'm gonna have a, a really good base coat, then I'll paint on top of it, and then I'll seal it really well when I'm done. And they turn out just beautiful for just dollars, you know? Hi, Mary, how are you today? You guys, let me know how your Thanksgiving was. Let me know if you ate too much. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Mine was sweet potato casserole, I guess they call it, you know, with the brown sugar and pecans. Well, the pecan pie was really good. It was very rich. I just, you know, it, it's true that the older you get, the less, or at least for me, the less rich things I can, I'm just like, whoa, you know, I get, Used to, I could eat all of it and it really didn't bother me. And now I'm just kind of like, Ugh. I think when you stop eating so many sweets and rich things, you just have a lower capacity <laughs> for them. But everything was so good. We had a great day, just the four of us, my little family. And um, we'll be together with Ron's whole family at Christmas. But for Thanksgiving, we've always just, for the most part, done it just us four and I've always cooked the meal. And then Ron and Maddie kind of took over, not took over, but they started doing most of it as my back has gotten worse. So that's been nice. Um, I just do a couple of things that, that I'm really good at. I know, we homemade pumpkin cake. Ooh, that sounds good, Jennifer. Oh, uh, so your son made it, Christy? That's so neat. Yes, we, this was the first year, Michelle, that we didn't have the broccoli and rice casserole. I think the first year that I can remember. Uh, but Ron, has, he can't have it anymore. So uh, we had to do a few things differently this year. Uh, and that was one of them. Another one was we didn't do the green bean casserole that we usually do. And so, you know, you don't miss it because I didn't, I don't think any of us really missed it because it was so much, you know, there's so much other things going on. And, and, um, we had a smoked turkey, which I so highly recommend. It was so, so good. Really, really good flavor. And who doesn't love the leftovers? You know, that's like the best part. Maybe not the best part, but it's, it's, it's up there. Debbie, that's fantastic. I'm so happy. Awesome. 
You hardly ever eat sweets. I'm really trying to cut back because the older I get, the harder it is for me to lose weight. I, I, I do really good for a while, and then I just, you know, don't. But I'm off of sweet tea, and I think as soon as the holidays are over, just like we almost do every year, right? You know, you kind of have to let go of a little during the holidays. Make some good choices, but indulge a little bit. And come January, I think Ron and I are both going to be doing more exercising and really caring more about our health. Oh, we're doing so good on time. Oh, let's see what she said. Went to IHOP. Awesome, Vicki. Listen, uh, I tell you what, it's such a hard meal. And it takes Wednesday, for us, it took Wednesday and Thursday to cook. So I don't blame anybody a bit. Or, hi, Holly. Oh, oh, I know. You've been hurting. Um, yesterday, I was good for nothing. I mean, I was just like a lump on a log. I didn't feel good. And I really think it's all the rich food. You know, it's just like, ugh, your body is just, doesn't know how to cope. Okay. I don't even know. But what I thought I would do is some abstract strokes. That's what I'm picturing. I'm just doing something totally different with acrylics today. Uh, showing you how easy. I didn't have a design in mind. So I thought, let's do, you know, some pretty, I'm going to do my colors. I'm going to do green, pink, and if I have my white pearl, let's grab that. Oh, they're so organized in here. It's not even funny, but I just have to remember where I put my white pearl. Here it is. I love this metallic white pearl. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and then maybe even a little black. Let's just see. But, um... Acrylic paints are very forgiving and very easy to use. So if you want to learn how to paint, you guys, hi, Jill. I just don't know why I hadn't thought of opening the group in December. I've never opened it in December. Um, but what I got to thinking was, you know, if you want to do this class, if you came in late, I'm teaching this painting step-by-step -step and then how to do the glass and resin step-by-step. -step. And I'm going to go over everything as far as buying resin, finding the right glass, um, tips, tricks, you know, how to just how to do it step-by-step -step so that there are no real questions. You're going to understand everything. And, um, I think I'll do a little white and then put that pearl on top of it. And so the class is 15, unless you're in the VIP group. If you're in the VIP group, there's no cost. Everything's always free for them. So I'm going to look for a round brush that's kind of a, oh, that's a good one. Let's do this one. This is a number nine. Um, so anyway, what I'm saying is if you want to join the group for December for this month, like join today or the next day or two, it's $20, and then your class is free. So the class is 15, so rather than pay for the class, and then maybe you go, you know, I wanna learn more, I wanna get in that group, then you're paying another 20 for the next month for the group. So that's just an option for anybody who's, you know, would like to learn how to paint more, or um, or knows they like my teaching style and, and things like that. I'm just gonna put some brush strokes on here with our round brush. So we're going to make this very, what's the word, uh, abstract and just kind of whimsical. But I think it's going to be pretty just because of the colors. And I'm just going around doing my green first. And you can use premium paints for this too and use the thicker paint. But I like to show easy and these little craft paints are um, the ones that I use are deco art and they are really good pigmented well so you can just use these on your ornaments I do I would say uh, the majority of, of of my resin work is in my private group that's kind of it, it takes more time and um, usually when I'm live it's it's an event or something kind of quick 
so I don't usually do a whole lot on my page. You ladies that are in the group can help me if you don't mind. If somebody's asking a question that I miss, you can help me out if you don't mind. I just happened to glance up and see Mary ask that. Okay, so we've got our green on. That's all I've done is painted it gold and put our green. Let's grab, <clears throat> excuse me, a little paper towel. Doesn't look special yet, but hello, Angela and Marsha. Oh, wait a second, Mary. Resin pour, are you talking about, you're probably talking about something different. You're probably talking about, um, about pouring all the different colors into the center and then moving it. Is that what you mean? I've done, I think I've done that in there a long, long time ago, but I know that's not something that I really teach. Uh, you know who's great at that? If I could think of her, somebody may help me, but her name's Jeannie. Can't remember her business name, but she is a part of Take Five, that group. And I don't know why I go blank. Look at that pink, pop a pink. So you could customize these. If somebody is a big sports fan, you could use their sports colors, you know, like their teen colors, or if they're in high school or college, use those colors. But we're just doing abstract strokes. So there is nothing to this. And I am going to kind of make these a little larger because pink's my favorite color. Yes, thank you, Janice. Hi, Ian. How are you today? Hi, Linda. Oh, Brooke, you did. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people. I saw a lot of, of different posts and something on TikTok about people that didn't cook or didn't have anybody to do something with. And so they did the same kind of thing. Um, I thought it was cute because one girl went to visit her single dad, you know, I guess divorce situation and, and uh, they just went out to eat and it was like, there was nobody there. They were like the only people in the restaurant and listen, you do what you have to do, right? Cause rookie has been sick and wasn't able to be around people. And that's how it is. Some years we've, one year, uh, Ron and the kids had to go without me somewhere. I think it was Christmas. And then one year, Maddie was sick. And I just, there's a lot of stuff going around. Okay, let me take a look and see where we need a little something. I like it already. And it's so, so simple. Painting on ceramics is really fun. And like I said, the great thing is you can just customize them. I do have a lot of tutorials for actual designs. So you can look here on Facebook. I think it's always easier to go to YouTube and you have a good thumbnail picture and I have them grouped by season over there. No, I did not use resin in my pores when I did them in the group. That was just kind of playing around and, and seeing if I even liked it. Okay, we're going to add some of the white and then some of our when that dries we'll put our white pearl on top so just continue with kind of the shape of your brush I'm using a round brush but you could try with any shape you know just practice on a piece of paper to see what you like and then go for it Worst comes to worst, if you really, really just don't like it, you can sand it off really lightly with a fine grit sandpaper and start over. Hi, Lisa Siler, how are you? Crafting and cruising. Are you, uh, where are y'all today? Are y'all cruising somewhere? I'm excited. Lisa's going to be in my private group next month. I love uh, showcasing a different creator each month. That's another thing I should have told y'all what we do in the group. Um, I teach live 
every Tuesday in the group. And of course, a lot of people will have to watch the replay because not everybody can, you know, be there. And then we do a special paint night once a month with a more difficult painting. And I teach that one step by step. We have a guest creator come in every month and it kind of introduces our, our group to new creators or maybe creators they haven't watched yet, things like that. And they get, I'm sure, get tired of me. And so, it, you know, it's just kind of a break in always painting and they get to do a craft of some type. And of course they get a discount on anything. I, so if I sell anything, if I sell um, uh, things on Etsy or, you know, even when I do an auction, they get a discount on that. Hi, Manny, how are you? Hola, happy Thanksgiving. Did you guys have fun? What y'all do? Now we're going in with black for a little contrast, just continuing with our little abstract strokes. But the cool thing about making things like this is everyone's unique. And you could give these two, wrap them up. Okay, you know how you take a cellophane bag and put some of that shred down in the bottom and then put this in there with a pretty like velvet or satin bow, whatever you like. Um, that would be a great gift. And so you could even take them with you to like your family Christmas event. If you get together with your family or your church or something and pass them out. Let me hold that up so y'all can see what we have so far. Oh, I do too, Janice. Yes, it is. We, we need it so bad, you know, to just take a day or two off. I took yesterday off as well and just really rested. And of course, I'm raring to go now. You can't keep us down very long. We're ready to get back in the thick of it. And you guys, 30 days until Christmas. I don't know about you, but I just feel like time is going by at warp speed and I don't understand why. <laughs> like, I feel like it's never gone by this fast before. And no matter how much we plan and prep and say, you know, it's coming, it's coming. It just, it's here before we even know it. I'm loving this already. I mean, it's literally just an abstract design, but it's really pretty. I am gonna need to do two coats on all of this. Yeah, isn't it crazy, Christy? It's like, I don't know, is it our age or what is it that time goes by so fast? But I even see young people say it, so I don't think it's just age. I think we're just trying to get a lot done and we know deep down that we don't have enough time to get it all done. Thank you, Brenda. How are you today? Let us know how you did over Thanksgiving if you haven't. And I am excited to be here in the Crafty Bunch by Rustic Daisies event. This is just giving you a little showcase into some of these small businesses that are around, craft businesses, of course, and uh, what we do, what we love to do. We're trying to introduce ourselves and just tell you what's going on. And I'm really excited to teach this nativity painting. I'm teaching it on the 30th, okay, Thursday. But if you cannot, next Thursday, but if you cannot attend live, that's fine. You can paint with the replay. Watch the replay as many times as you need to. It'll be there. And, um, but it will be a great one to give. Here it is in case you just popped on. It'll be a great one to give as a gift. And let me see if y'all can see the glass and the resin on it. Oh, well, thanks for inviting me, Angie. I appreciate it a lot. If you're not following her, guys, just click right here on the Crafty Bunch by Rustic Daisies and give her a follow. You'll, you'll be glad you did. 
I'm just going over what I've already done and getting another coat. Super simple, you guys. What do y'all think? Do you think this would be a good gift for somebody? You could, seriously, if you put a towel down on your table, you could let your kids or grandkids do these. Now they are, you know, breakable. So that's why I say definitely put an old towel or something down for them so that if they drop it and just know that they might drop it, <laughs> right? Have a, have a backup. But that would be sweet too. You could even let them do their fingerprints. But I think it's always good to let kids create with you when you can and kind of find things that they can do too. Oh, that's awesome, Janice. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> I was just talking to my daughter about that yesterday, how, you know, we gotta quit feeling so guilty about treating ourselves to something. And I talked her into getting some boots. Um, I love cowboy boots and I almost got me a pair too, but I didn't, but, um, you know, we can't feel guilty. We can, we, we work so hard and sometimes, and you know, your budget, you know, if you can't, you can't, but sometimes you need to treat yourself to something and it kind of makes all the work you do. Okay. You know, you're like, well, I work really hard, but I never can spend any money. I think it's healthy to reward yourself occasionally. I obviously can't do it all the time most of us, but occasionally you should, and it's so fun. So those sales were great yesterday, but I really didn't buy anything. Ron and I bought the kids something for Christmas. We just don't do a whole, whole lot, so it didn't really, the sales weren't so big. Oh, I love it. I like this. I hope y'all do. It's so simple, but it's just pretty, I think. And I'm going to find a really pretty ribbon. I might even like to find one that's got all the colors in it. Are you Mary? Don't be afraid. I know. Um, I think, hi, Gloria. I think that, um, you know, by watching over and over, when you do it, it's all going to pop back. You know, as you're doing it, um, you'll remember all the little tricks that I've told you. But, um you know, consider getting in the group for a month if you want to, Mary, and go through all of my, in, in my private group, those are all the, what I call like the really good tutorials because I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a time to bend. I'm just taking my time teaching. And, um, and also speak to your accountant, your CPA, but it should be free for you if you own a business. It should be a tax write-off. Anytime you're learning and doing something that will help you in your business, that, that can be a write-off. But I'm not a CPA, so check with yours is what advice I give. I'm just going over this one more time with the white, and then we're going to put the white pearl over it. And we are getting close. Next after me is Totally Together Creating with Brenda. I had to write that down because that was a long one. It was a mouthful. So uh, you'll every 30 minutes, they're showcasing a different creator for 30 minutes. That's very quick. It goes by fast. And you'll just get to see what they're about, what they do. I'm sure everybody's showing you kind of some examples of what they do. Okay. Now let's go over that with our white pearl. Yes, I understand. Thank you, Lisa, for sprinkling. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for saying pretty. <laughs> Gloria, have you had another um, event, like another sale? I know you and Lisa have been doing some in-person events. Have you had one? This is the metallic white pearl that I love to do. And the gold that I used is glorious gold. They're by Deco Art and they're just really, really good pigmented paints. So 
I am an affiliate for DecoArt, so there's a 20% off coupon good through the end of December. So through December 31st, it'll give you 20% off your entire order on their website. And it's pinned to the top of my page, or you can find it on my website, which is artgracepaint.com. I'll hold this up in just a second. I wanna see if I can get all of these done. Twenty-nine. Oh goodness, we gotta hurry. Totally together. Crafting with Brenda. It's about on. In fact, she's probably already started. But I'm glad y'all were here today. I'm glad that I remembered to tell you what I discovered about. If you're interested in joining the group, you would get that class free. So, don't pay for the class and join the VIP group. You'll want to, you know. The class is through Michaels, you know, michaels.com. So I don't know how to refund. So if you pay for it, I don't have any idea how to get your refund. I'm sure that there is a way, but okay, let's hold that up and see if you can see. Super simple little abstract painting. Thank you, Christy. How'd it go, Gloria? Did you sell a lot? Okay, my time is up. Thank y'all for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. I'm going to go finish the A&M game. They're playing Louisiana, I think. So you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Angie. Bye, guys.